Hello everyone, welcome to Mega Bar Bingo. I'm Curtis. I'm Amelia. And we are getting right into our first game today. That minor jackpot went out last Friday, actually, yeah. and it's already at 1,000. Cash crew number two luck. <laughs> That's all it is. Curtis and I, two Fridays in a row, a minor jackpot has gone out, and we're pumped about it. We're the lucky duo. Yeah. What can we say? I'd like to give out this major jackpot, too, actually. You know what, though? Tonight's Megasota Game Night, and we are doing a round of Jackpot Hunter during Megasota Game Night, so we have 14 games to make the major happen. I'm hoping it happens on Megasota Game Night. Last Jackpot Hunter game of the night, usually about 300 players or more play for Megasota Game Night, so that would be a ton of fun. 
See Mrs. T out there. We got Mrs. Lucky out there at Red Men Club. Blondie out there and Shotgun playing from Neeson's Gaylord. Got Mrs. Yags out there at River, Riverboat Depot. Mrs. Yags winning the jackpot on Friday. Yeah, second jackpot. It, that was also part of the excitement. Like, Mr. Yags coming on Facebook. What do we got to do to get some some bingos around here? And I'm like, me and Chris said, ask your wife. And guess what? <laughs> we were right because she had all of the luck. Uh, but they're married, so you know what? It's a win-win for them. It's all going to one place anyway. And Mrs. Yags did end up tying Mr. Yags on the leaderboard. They're tied for second place behind Spanky. Um, they both have 16,000 points, which they've both won jackpots. Mrs. Yags has won two jackpots, and they've won a bunch of Moscow bingos. So shout out to them. There we go. Mrs. Lucky winning that Moscow prize on ball 54. $65 to you, Mrs. Lucky. Congratulations. Congrats over at Redman Club. Gonna have to go check out their Facebook. Alrighty. It is 10 2020 today. It, it's October so 20th. crazy how fast this year is going. Yeah, we were on the way here and I was like, what did I say about October? Oh, I said election days in like two weeks. And I was like, Curse was like, yeah, it's November soon. I was like, okay, that's even. I mean, I know election day is in November, but it was even weirder to me. I didn't even realize. November is winter, in my opinion. That's yeah. like winter month. It counts in like with December and January. October is like the last month of fall. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I just can't believe it. October 20th already. Um, it is Bingo Palooza Tuesday. Um we had 11, 11 games earlier of Vikings Bingo. Right now we're doing 13 rounds of Jackpot Hunter. And um, then we have Megasota Game Night, which is going to be a really fun night. Let's go over that schedule real quick. Um, here we go. We have trivia tonight. Nikki put together some Halloween movie trivia. What is your favorite Halloween movie? Oh, that's a great question. Anything, uh, you know what? Horror movies count. It's Halloween. I feel like horror movies count. I don't really have a favorite horror movie. Really? Yeah, I don't really watch too many horror movies. I feel like it just popped in my head. Children of the Corn. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, that one. I actually really like uh, Children of the Corn. It used to play on TV all the time. When TV was our only option as kids, you know? Um, yeah... I'm a, let's pull up a list of Halloween movies. You guys better get studying for trivia tonight because Nikki put that together. Some hard work. I don't even know, like, I, do you know Halloween Town? Mm-hmm. That was like a Disney Channel movie that was pretty big. And then, of course, there's the Halloween movies. Which, okay. Is that Freddy Krueger or Jason? Halloween? Yeah. Neither. Is, that? <laughs> is it a different man? That's Michael Myers. Yeah, that one. <laughs> You know what I meant. Yeah. Um, it's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Is that John's favorite? I guess so. I know my dad likes that, but I've never seen it. I just looked up a list of ho a classic Halloween movies. Okay, the movie. I like that movie. Yeah, the movie Get Out is on this list, which is definitely not a classic, and it's definitely not a Halloween movie. I think it came out around Halloween, though. Get Out is a fantastic movie. I loved it. Um, Jordan Peele wrote this movie and, and directed it. And then he had another movie we watched during quarantine um, about the family that has a stalker, underground family, stalking them and killing their friends. What's that movie called? Oh, uh, Us, right? Or Them. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it was Us. I, I don't know. I love Jordan Peele movies. They, yeah. they mess with your brain. We also have Edward Scissorhands. You ever seen Never that? Never seen Oh, that. Curtis. That's a classic. It was made in 1990. Um, the Exorcist. Have you seen that one? Nope. How about Hocus Pocus? Nope. That's a that's a classic. Haven't seen the Chucky movies. No Casper. Blair Witch Project? Nope. That one counts. 
Um, Paranormal Activity. Yes, I did okay, not like good. that movie. I saw that all movie of them. Was so bad. But when we were in, was it middle school or high school? You're younger than me. I don't know what you were in. But that that was the talk of the school. Was when a new para- Paranormal Activity movie would come out. Like they were game changers because it was like real time, f- like it was like on a video camera. You yeah, know? it was like recorded. It and they were spooky. And it was like real people dealing with ghost encounters. Yeah. Um, those are classics. They they definitely scared me. Um, and you haven't seen The Sixth Sense, have you? No. We're getting into movie talk again. We do this oh, every time. My favorite scary movie. I got it. Okay, what is it? Uh, the Tooth Fairy. That's the good one. I've seen that. Um, that is a good one. That movie scared the crap out of me as a kid. Really? Oh, yeah. I've never seen The Nightmare Before Christmas either. Uh, I don't think I have either. I know that's another big one. The Shining, though. The Shining, and what did I just say? Um, oh, God. The Sixth Sense. Those are classic, like, scary movies. They're not that scary. They're just kind of creepy. Oh, there we go. See Joe. Bingo! And said. Splitting that Musco prize. $40 around that each of you guys. Congratulations. And now we are getting into game number three. You know what's funny? Us is the last one on the list. (laughs) So I guess they're counting it. Us was a pretty good movie. Um, I didn't know that the United States had that many underground tunnels. Was that a real thing? Is that real? I don't know if that's real, but it might be. I'd believe it. Um, U.S. underground tunnel map. Yeah, it's real. Um, inner earth access map. Yeah. And, like, I didn't even know that was a real thing. And then I watched the movie. And the fact that Jordan Peele made that a scary movie, you know? Mm -hmm. With a different species of human, basically, underneath the ground. I'm sorry. We just spoiled the movie. Um, It's a great movie, though. Anyway, that was all about trivia. Next game on the Megasota Game Night list. Pride of Minnesota. And then we have Lucky Sevens. After that is Fishing Derby, Derby fan favorite game. We did a tournament. It won the number one overall game um, for all of those that voted on Facebook during quarantine. Um, and then we have Jackpot Hunter, which is what we're playing right now. And then we have Open Season, which is our newest PGL game. And it might be a contender for fan favorite pilot game. I'd put it at the top of my list. It's at the top of my list. It's very similar to Fish and Derby where you start with a map, you pick what you want, where you want to fish, or you pick where you want to hunt, and then you also um, pick your weapon, crossbow, normal bow, shotgun. Uh, rifles. Yeah. You pick your weapon, and then, um, yeah, you pick your spot. If you hit the golden buck, then you get in the sharpshooter round. We got 30 seconds left before this next round. 91 players out there right now. That miner just below $2,000, sitting at 1,500. 52 balls for that one. 52 for the major, sitting at $21,000, and that mega, $100,000 for 45 balls. And I forgot to mention, fishing derby tonight. There is a jackpot that is over $6,000 for the large mouth. Also, we have Jackpot Jungle tonight, the 54-ball coverall. If you like Pattern Bingo and Nikki's Ball Calls, you're going to like that game. It's a classic round here. Um, And that jackpot is going to be over $5,000. So there's some great opportunities for jackpots tonight, including right now we're playing uh, for that major jackpot, almost $22,000. See, Getting Cancer big. sucks out there at Clearwater Corners. Good to see you out there. Cancer sucks. Rikisha. Yags 370 out there. I believe Michelob's out there too, right? Yep. Got Spin Dog out there at Night to Columbus. Tudes playing from VFW Forest Lake. Frog out there at Neighborhood Tavern. 
that ghost and rocket at Eagles Owatana. Steve Simps. <laughs> maybe his last name Simpson. Yeah, maybe. You know what I turned on the TV for the first time in like five years? Yesterday was Family Guy. They're still making episodes mm -hmm. all the time. Family Guy, Simpsons, and American Dad are all like the the big three cartoon shows. Yeah, and they just and recycle then the one that's stuff. on. They do. Yeah. Well, they. You know what I was thinking? They make episodes so quick. They'll talk about something that happened in the news like last week. Yeah. On their next, it's so crazy. I think the, like they say, the other one, South Park. I w that's what I was getting at on Comedy Central. I never was a big South Park fan. South Park makes some very meta jokes, though, which is why it's so good to watch. Like, they'll take a concept that's big right now, and they'll make fun of it no matter how I just recent. don't like the um, animation style. Yeah. The, the lines of their character, the actual graphic, the lines are so thin. I don't know why. It just doesn't look cartoony to me. It looks like a drawing. All right. No jackpot this round. Uh, but there is a $91 must-go prize. See Pickle out there. We got Miller Lite out there. Johnny Moe's. Jaw Bear. Dee Dee's. Dee -Dee. oh, no. And Sue splitting that must-go prize. $91 right down the middle to you, too. Congratulations. And we are getting into game number four now, so buy your cards, hit that play button. Alrighty, so it is a PGL tournament night. If you don't know what that means, it means that it's a pilot gambling league tournament night. You can sign up for that at pgl.world. And when you sign up, you'll get a newsletter every month um, about all of pilot's big news. And um, you'll also be part of the leaderboard standings. So we just take your points from every Megasota game night, add them up, and then that creates the PGL player and location standings. Um, we had some movement last week for the PGL standings. Um, so let's take a look. In 10th is Car Hat at the Sunset Grill. In 9th is I'm the Fortunate One at Muddy Cow Coon Rapids. Um, 8th is Ramrod, a big bingo player out there at Spare Time Lanes. We also have Drumski in seventh, who is a big mega bar bingo player and PGL player, and they play at Underground Bar and Grill. We have Ian's favorite player, Bones, over at Duffy's Bar and Grill in sixth. Um, in fifth is two-time mega bar bingo jackpot winner for Get UD over at Eagles Austin. Um, then we have Mick Bessa at Moe's in fourth, and I believe McBessa plays with her husband, Bob, and they've won a couple jackpots. And they were in the Mega Bar Bingo winner slide, the winner show. Um, then we have Work Season third place um, at St. Cloud Moose Club. In second place is Season 6 PGL Tournament winner, um, Sarah Honey, who's been a regular for years now. So that's super cool. She's in second again. And then in first and has stayed in first for most of the season is Cancer Sucks. So shout out to Cancer Sucks. We're wishing you luck this season. I think it's your turn to win the Pilot Cup. Um, we should really put the Pilot Cup up here, even though the season's gonna go till December. So no crown winner yet, but we're, we're uh, wishing the top 10 some luck as we go into another Megasota game night. Yeah, here we go. Ten seconds left before this next round. 104 players out there right now. These jackpots are getting pretty big. I'm, yeah. I love when the Matrix gets that big, though. It's more fun. It's like there's more on the line. So hopefully you guys got your cards. What is this, round four? Yep. All right, let's get into it. Round four. Got Iggy, Gabby, Da Bears out there. Wolfstein out there as well. If you guys need more luck, feel free to comment on our live Facebook video and um, we'll throw you some luck. And it works. Whoever comments on Facebook tends to win, like the Yaxis. Yeah. I don't know how it works, but it does. Got Mrs. Yags, Michelob out there. Michelob. <laughs> we all do that as broadcasters, by the way. I have no idea which, like... I heard Ian say it today, and he quickly corrected himself because we've been saying it wrong for, like, over a year now. 
and it's hard to say right. I started <laughs> saying it wrong on purpose, and now that, I can't like say it right. It was like a joke around here, and now we're like, all right, that's a real person. We better say <laughs> it right. We got Mickey and Ghost out there. And Snackery. Snacks sound good. Blondie. A blondie for a snack. Is that a type of, is that the like cookie brownie thing? Yeah, I think so. I believe so. Got RJ and Al out there at Boxer's Bar. Pickle. Welcome back, Pickle. Got Nancy Nikki out there at Riverboat Depot. Frog playing from Neighborhood Tavern. We got Ackley Gals back out there at Municipal Liquor Store. Ackley, good to see you back. Mark playing from Cabin Bar. And we just passed that jackpot ball, so $95 is that new must-go prize. I see Louie's mom out there again. Got Miss K. Kiki playing from High Court Club. Pub. Got Iggy oh, no. from Dawn's Corner Bar winning that bingo. $95 to you, Iggy. Congratulations. Well, we're doing a good job so far of saving the major for Minnesota. Yeah. I still think it's going to hit tonight. If it doesn't hit tonight, that would actually be kind of shocking. Like tonight, tonight? or Anytime today. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's at 52, 52 balls. Lots of players out there. Um, the more players there are, the bigger chance someone's going to win it. And the bigger the prizes are as well. So make sure you get your cards. Um, all right. Are you ready for my favorite part of the show? Uh, I believe so. I think that major will actually tick up. Next as round? Not next round. All right. Uh, 22, 500, I believe. Ooh, could happen tonight. 53 balls. Well, I don't know. We play Vikings Bingo. That's a 52-ball coverall. And uh, there's been like 10 of those winners. Maybe not 10. Maybe like 8. But 52 is not too hard. It's and there's possible. And two jackpots for the 52-ball. Um... National Days, Amelia's favorite part of the show. Um, National Pharmacy Technician Day, an opportunity to thank technicians for their invaluable support and contributions throughout the years. Do you know how many pharmacy techs? Yes. You do? Who? Yes. Uh, friends from high school. Yeah, same. I know, like, when we graduated, that was a job that a lot of people wanted. Yeah, I know. It was like, it was like higher pay than minimum wage. You had to take some courses for it, maybe. Like, not courses, but training. And I remember my friends wanted to do it. Yeah. So, shout out to those guys. National Brandied Fruit Day. Um, I heard John and Ian talking about this earlier. They've never had brandied fruit. I've never had brandied fruit. I've had brandy fruit. You have? No. <laughs> I, w <laughs> I was so shocked. Um... Brandied fruit first became popular around the Victorian era. During this time, it was discovered by adding brandy to fruit. It was the easiest way to make it last longer. Incidentally, the process was an also a great way to harvest the taste of fruit while creating a dish delicious dessert for adults. Um, this reminds me of my college years. Do you remember the gummy... What? Nothing. Keep going. <laughs> you looked at me so weird. Do you remember like soaking gummy bears and vodka no you don't know that no oh my god my roommates before you like not even in the same apartment like my first college roommates used to have a big bucket of gummy bears soaked in vodka and i remember actually i heard of it like must have been like eight years like i was in high school and there was like on the news newscasters were warning parents about alcohol soaked gummy bears Really? Because they're so strong. I've never had one. I'm an angel. I don't do that. But I heard they would get you messed up. And then they taste so good that you would, like, kids would eat a bunch of them and then, you know, get sick. Yeah. So I just remember that being a big deal. See Bad Flop Bob out there. And Sizzler. We got Love You from Shortstop Fridley. Did you say sli Sizzler? Slizzler? Yeah, um, Sizzler. They won a jackpot. When was that? Um, the minor jackpot, actually. They won $4,884 at Doc's Landing. 
So welcome back, Sizzler, back for the 22K. Wait, is that Mingo, please? Uh, yeah, I don't, I saw that name and I didn't understand it. I think it was, it's, it's like Bingo, please, but Mingo. I figured, but then I was like, am I? <laughs> got Cause it frog has an, out there. It has an M on the end. Does it? Mingum, please. Yeah. I see Bryzo out there. You say yeah, but I don't see the name up there. Louie's mom. Tara Sweats. Bad Flat Bob, Kiki, Mandy, Team 24. There is an M at the end, I see it. Mm -hmm. I just skip over letters I don't like. Got Moose out there at American Legion Fiddly. Gabby playing from Archie's Bar and Teddy from Eagles Owatana. And there we have Towley oh, no! from CR Billiards, you Coon Rapids. You really excited and I thought the jackpot went out. <laughs> I was like looking up I Halloween mean, movies it is and exciting. I was like, oh no, I missed it. $106 <sighs> to Towley. Congratulations, Towley. We are getting into game number five, I believe. No, this was game five. Next game is game six. I was thinking of Halloween movies, but then I was thinking of Halloween TV shows. And Curtis and I just finished The House. No. The Haunting of Bly Manor. The ha yeah, that one. I'm not going to try to say that. <laughs> the Haunting of Bly Manor. It's the second after The Haunting of Hill House. Yeah. Same. Cu couple of the same actors. Same directors, producers, writers. Um, which one did you like better? Haunting of Hill House, for sure. Me too. You would think um, the first one was so scary. This is a Netflix series, by the way, so it's on Netflix. Uh, both of them are. You'd think um, it'd be scarier because the first one, there was like, you could Google after, like hidden scary things and yeah. ha haunting a hill. And like in every background shot on the camera, there was some like figure or something in the back, like a ghost. And um, and you, there's no way you could see all of them watching it regularly. Oh, yeah. You You'd have to watch it, watch it a second time or just Google it to find, like, the hidden things that they put in that movie. But then you watch um, the second season, which is a different story. Like I said, same actors, same theme of, like, having a haunted house. Um, and it wasn't really that scary. There was not a lot of stuff in the background. It was a good story, but not a lot of fear factor. Yeah, they, it was more in your face with all the ghosts than the other one. Oh, yeah. They were, like, walking around like normal people. Um, anyways, check that one out. All right. Got a minute left to register for this next round. 123 play 124 players out there right now. Ooh, they're out there claiming their iPads for Megasota Game Night. Um, if you guys have never done a Megasota Game Night and want to see what that's all about, head over to our Facebook, Pilot Games. I uploaded a video there, and it gives you, like, a couple-second preview of each game so you can see what the games are like and um, some other stuff, schedule and everything. I mean, if you haven't tried it, just stick it's, around and play Mega Soda Game Night. You don't got to play every game, but just... Yeah, you can pick the ones. Some have lower buy-ins than others. They're definitely $5 games. Um, they're, I think Fish and Derby is a $20 game, but you do have the chance of... The over six thousand um, dollar large mouth progressive, um, and then we are playing our newest game, Open Season. It's a ton of fun. You actually get to point at what you want to shoot, and then you get prizes and points based on that. If you hit the golden buck, you get put into a sharpshooter bonus round, and you get to basically take all of that minute time and shoot as many of the vermin or the moose or the deer as you can. It's a ton of fun. I love that game. Yeah, it definitely it, looks great. It's not a game that's a just a play button. You you shoot your ant. Whatever you want your points, you shoot them. Got Thanos out there at Riverboat Lanes. Wigs playing from Eagles Owatana and Chez from Port 507 Bar. Got Bingo Billy out there at Smiley's Tavern. <laughs> I love that name. 
right up there with Bad Flop Bob. That's some of the greatest Bad names. Bad Flop Bob. We got Rhino out there at Sloppy Joe's. We did have that mega tick up, tip, tick up last week to 45 balls. It should tick up to 46 soon. I both. In half the time, I believe. Tony mentioned something about it. I, I wasn't sure if it was two. It'll tick up twice. We'll have to clear that up. Yeah, I have no idea. We got Brenda from VFW Austin. Michelob. Hey. Yep. I almost read Brenda again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Brenda. Got Miss Lucky back out there at the Red Men's Club after winning that first round. Freddie Laws is back. Welcome back, Freddie, at Bennett's Chop and Rail House. We just missed those jackpots. $119 is that new must-go prize. Speaking of bad plot, Bob, he's out there. Yeah. Oh, did you know that? Yeah, I saw his name last round. I zoned out. We got Mrs. K out there. Jenny C playing from G. Allen's. Jenny C was winning a lot. What was it? Lunch hour? Yeah. Team 24 playing from American Legion Morristown. And there we go. Thanos. Thanos yeah. at Riverboat Lanes winning $119. Congratulations, Thanos. I miss Marvel movies. Me too. I can't wait for Spider Man. Is that the next one? What's after that? Do they have a. Do they uh, like. Tell I think people? the direct next one is Black Widow. Which. Black Widow. She's already dead. I, I don't really she care. Was dead. Yeah. She is. It's, it's uh, a back in time. Yeah. What? How it's, do they do it's that? It's her story of how she came. They should have done that before, <laughs> right? Like no. now we know she's dead. Maybe she's not dead. She's dead. There's maybe, maybe no she's way dead. she's not dead. Why would they do that? Because it's like a uh, oh the hero of the movie gets her own. They should movie. bring a new a new hero in. Brand new one. Like Squirrel Girl. Is that real? That is a real Marvel character. Did they just like start naming animals like Ant Man and Wasp Woman, whatever her name, the Wasp? Yep. I yeah. actually, I, you. I love Ant Man. That one's my favorite. Because it's so ridiculous. He's a freaking ant <laughs> in a suit, like flying around and shrinking and then getting big and, um, but I kind of like that it's weird. Alrighty, let's go over the last national day. Uh, where are you? Okay, National Youth Confidence Day encourages us to connect and inspire today's youth for tomorrow's success. John and Ian were talking at lunch that they're football coaches and that's part of what they do. And that is super cool. Um, you were probably a confident youth. I was. Just based off your your personality now yeah i definitely was Are you very joking? confident youth <laughs> i feel like you wouldn't if you wouldn't care if someone made fun of you i i made fun of people i wasn't the oh, no. bully i was the bully you know no i don't know <laughs> you are not the bully everyone liked you in school that's because i made them like me <laughs> or else um all righty let's see what celebrity birthdays do we got I know a couple. You know why? Because I watched a baseball movie this week. Mickey Mantle. I know one of them. I know you do. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, I know a couple of these. MLB baseball slugger Ma Mickey Mantle. He was in Moneyball. He had like a scene. Did he? Well, they were talking about it. Oh, yeah. Um, he, hel he holds records. He's a, a legend in baseball. And now that I watched that movie, I'm, I know everything about it. Yeah, baseball. you're a baseball expert. Yeah. Um, all right, we're getting into this round. 119 of you guys and a almost uh, 24, over $24,000 um, total for the jackpot prizes. Yeah, that minor jackpot just passed $2,000, so it will be ticking up after this round to 54 balls. Two more balls hit that one. That major, I believe it ticks up at at 22500 So in a couple rounds here, we should see that one tick up as well. Unless someone wins it right here, right now. Very true. We have Wolfstein out there. Welcome back. Wolfstein, uh, two-time. 
I see Two charity in all capitals at VFW charity. Austin. Charity. That's what we're doing right now. Some charitable gambling out in Minnesota. It's so cool. Every state should do it, but they don't. So you're cool, Minnesota. You do that. Yeah, Bingo Billy playing from the Smiley's Tavern. JRW Bears out there. Yags 370 playing from Riverboat Depot. We got, is that Poopsie playing from High and Low Tap? We got Sherry playing from Eagles Owatana. People eight balls away should be on track to hit this minor jackpot and major for that matter. What if like the Yags hit it again? That oh, would no. be insane. We might have to go to Riverboat Depot and expect those well, iPads. you know what? The Yaks said they would come here and pick up their money in person <laughs> last time if they won a jackpot. Didn't see them. Didn't see them come pick it up this weekend. Got Mandy playing from Allen's Easton. No jackpot again. Got Dazzling out there. Mrs. T playing from St. Cloud Eagles, a very regular bingo player. Good at Scard's Bar. Good effort on the name. And there we there go. go. Louie's mom from EJ's Bar and Grill, Gaylord, winning that $117 Musco prize. Congratulations, Louie's mom. Uh, we had John let us know that Mickey Mantle was an American League most valuable player three times and a gold glove winner once. Mantle appeared in 12 World Series, including seven championships, and he holds world, record, world Series records for the most home runs, RBIs, extra base hits, runs, walks, and total bases. It's a lot of records. That, yes. So he's a legend. Um, we also have Tom Petty's birthday. He's a singer. What was his band? I don't listen to a lot of old music so that's why it ah tom petty and the heartbreakers that's what have you ever heard of them i i think i've heard of the heartbreakers but i don't know of tom petty oh my god really yes how is that possible i don't know famous people i feel like i could hear a song and definitely know it but i don't listen to a ton of old older musicians um okay the one you know yeah the only one I know. Born in 1972. Wow, he was born the same year as my dad. That's weird. Um, Snoop Dogg, Snoop Doggy Dogg, rapper and singer and best friend to Martha Stewart. That's really? a real thing. Is they it? literally still hang out. Like, they're good friends. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, like, he made his first appearance on her, like, cooking show. Um, she had, like, a, a talk show. And ever since then, they've been friends. Even when Martha was in prison. Wait, she was in prison? Yeah. For what? Money laundering? Hold oh on. Oh, my gosh. I... <laughs> she... Okay, yeah. She had been charged and convicted of a number of financial crimes and spent five months incarcerated. Wow. I wonder what the crimes were. Insider trading. Securities fraud. Obstruction of justice. Conspiracy. And she wasn't convicted of the financial crimes. She went down for conspiracy, obstruction of justice, and lying to investigators. Um, so it was about um, insider trading on a um, med uh, medicine... Yeah, on a new experimental drug. That is crazy. So she was well, who, putting money there. Who is Martha? What is she famous for? Her cooking show? Yeah. Okay, that's no, what I she was a she was on like primetime TV doing a talk show. Oh. And yeah, she cooked a lot. We got Sunny too out there at Tootsie's in Big Lake. Mary playing from a shortstop Fridley. And she had a magazine called Martha Stewart Living. 
You d- you obviously didn't grow up watching the Food Network and food shows. No, I, I watched, watched cartoons. all of them. Even Martha Stewart. Even Emeril Lagasse. <laughs> you watch cartoons and I watch the Food Network. Oh, that's so funny. And I'm still a better cook than you. <laughs> Goober out there at sidetrack. Ham playing from Sherwood Lounge. We are so far away from these jackpots. 14 balls away. Yeah, but we still have That's not a good sign. $123 Musco prize. That miner did tick up to 54 balls this round. Whew. Definitely no mega this round. You see, you say oh, that, and then it's going to happen. Cool. Bird playing from Neighborhood Tavern. Got Share Bear out there, short 96. Winehouse is out there at Adagio's. Amy Winehouse, you know her? No, you don't. Yes and no. I know of her, I don't know her. We're not on a first name basis. Well, she passed away, so. Oh, did she? Oh my god. We got Shar playing from Pit Stop Bar. Michelob out there at Neeson's Gaylord. Yeah, we have Cancer passed sucks. these jackpots. Cancer sucks out there. Clearwater Corners. And Claiming there we go. M and H playing from TT's Tilted Tavern Bar and Grill in Brighton, winning $123. Byron. Byron. Congrats, M and H. I would have pronounced that Mand H. Yeah, I know that. I looked at it and but I. Then it's, yeah. I saw the M and H. All right, we are going to take a short break. You guys can play the next round without us. We will be right back. Be right
Hello everyone, welcome us back to Mega Bar Bingo. 141 players out there and we are getting into game number 10. But first, we got a bingo. bingo. Two misses Lucky last round, winning $125. Congratulations, Mrs. Lucky. That's our second win tonight. Yeah, congrats, Mrs. Lucky. So or Miss Lucky. I, I never know the difference. I'm Mrs. Miss. Okay. Pickle at Wild Bill's Sports Bar. We got Louie's mom at EJ's Bar. I see that name that's just random letters. letters and I want to say it every time, but I know I won't be able to pronounce it. Just make up a noise. <laughs> we'll find a sound effect button. Well, they're playing <coughs> from Winners in Sartell. We got Karen out there at VFW Spring Lake Park. Got Spring Lake Park Lions commenting on Facebook very frequently, wishing all their players luck. So good luck yeah. to all the Spring Lake L Park Lions players. We got Rug Buster out there, Sheps on sixth. Andy at Corner Bar on in Goodhue. We got Miller Light at EJ's Bar, Gaylord. You guys are gonna have to hit all of the next balls to win this jackpot. We got players 10 balls away. Oh, now they're eight balls away. All right, you can do it. I believe after Wishing this you luck. round, that major should tick up to 53. something. I've, it's never been this high before. Uh, maybe. I think the last time the major and minor no, were one. No, Sarah Honey. Yeah, I think that was both, though. That's the only reason it was that high. But she won t over 26K. Yeah, 4,000 oh, on yeah, the minor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the biggest major's ever been. That's kind of crazy. I don't remember it getting any bigger. Yeah. 
because I don't know if it ticks up at all. 253, 254. All right, well, know. we're going to see. We're going to see. Uh, and then rolling screen. Yeah, we got Love You out there, shortstop Fridley. Dupe out there, Bryzo, Chris. And there we go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we got MBO oh and God. winners in Sartell. Lots of out letters. There. J yeah. K H S D K J B C K. See the round I wanted to say their name. Clean they won. Name. Super easy. Rolls off the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting back to enrolling. Let's see if that major did tick up to 53 balls. Yeah. Um, I don't think the major ever ticks up twice. Like the minor does. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Major 53 balls or less. You would have to be unlucky to not hit it. Because that's an easy. It's 53 balls. You got this. Um, comment on Facebook, Pilot Games. Um, comment if you need some luck. This is the time. We've never, never had the major. I don't remember ever having the major at 53 balls before. Um, and lots of players out there, so we are wishing you luck. Let's see what we got going on. Speaking of heading to Facebook, um, registration for Virtual PyCon 2020 is up and running, so you can either register through our Facebook event. Um, if you head to our Facebook, it's on the left-hand side. You'll see it. And there's a button that says Get Tickets. Um, it's really just a registration, and it's free. And you're not going to want to miss it. We're going to talk to you guys about new games and new products including Mega Bar Bingo, PGL Nights, um, the Player Connect app. Yes, we have an app coming soon. You're going to want to see it at PyCon. And then the PCS series or Pilot Championship series. Um, and also, we have some special guests that are going to be there. Well-known names in the music world. You will know them and you don't want to miss it. It's basically like a free concert. So you're going to want to be there um, if you don't have Facebook, you can head over to pilotgames.com slash PyCon. And we will be emailing you guys, whoever is registered, more information about PyCon. We got 30 seconds left to enroll in this next round. 148 players out there right now. That major just ticked up to 53 balls, $22,755 on that one. That minor, 54 balls for 2745 And that mega, of course, $100,000, 45 balls hit that one. Almost 150 players out there um, trying to win the major jackpot. Wow, it's huge. This is, let's see, Sarah Honey won 26K. Is this enough to reach 26K? I don't think so. Not yet. No. But Almost. with the Musco, it's pretty close. Yeah. So this should be. Wait, hold on. Let me break out the old abacus. 25. It's almost 26. Almost, right? Yeah, I believe so. Let's see. This is game number 11 right now. So we have three more games. And if these jackpots still don't go out in those three games, you guys can come back during Megasota game night. We are playing a round of Jackpot Hunter. So I believe... $25,654 if it is won this round. That is how much you would win. Over $25,000. Where's um, the cents? There's uh, 80 cents and in 80 there. And 60 cents. 80 cents. 60 cents. What? Oh, 80 <laughs> cents. Wow, the major has cents too. Okay. Yeah. Um, st whatever. $25,000. <laughs> that is so much money for a $1 card. Um, yeah, like Kurt said, we are going to play around a Jackpot Hunter during Megasota game night, which is right after this. So make sure you guys stick around. Keep your iPads. Um iPads are a limited resource in the in these parts. We are getting near those jackpots. Players Ooh, eight balls away. Plenty happen. of time to hit them. Seven balls away. Got Snowman 007 out there at South Street Saloon. A little early Too for Snowman. Early. Four chances. Three chances. Oh, no, wait. 53 balls now. Yep. Ben. Two chances left. Don't trust the right side. Just look at the left side. No bingo on that oh. ball 53. Ball 54, 54. either. $156 is that must-go prize. 
We're nearing the 26K mark. Next round might be it. We got Louie's mom out there, EJ's barn grill. And there we go, Dean Lou at American Legion Ashby winning that one all to themselves. $156, congratulations. And we are getting into game number 12 now. So we got two games left of happy hour. And if these jackpots don't go out, then you can come back during Mega Soda game night. We are playing one game of Jackpot Hunter. Yep, that'll be at 7.30 p.m. tonight. Another round of Jackpot Hunter. I kind of hope it doesn't hit right now and it hits during Mega Soda. Yeah. Nikki and Tony are a very lucky pair. Well, Jackpots with, go out when they're hosting. With 300 players for a Jackpot Hunter game, oh I'm my assuming God. it's going to go out. Oh, yeah. that That's the thing. The more people that play, the higher the chance, the more the prizes are. Um, yeah, like Kurt says, we have Mega Soda Game Night right after this. Halloween movie trivia is starting at 615. Nikki can't play tonight because she wrote the question, so you have a chance of winning. <laughs> Without Nikki playing, you have a chance. Um, we're going to play PGL tournament games. There are over 100 must-go prizes, cash prizes, and obviously the live broadcast. Um, MyBar.TV trivia starts at 615. At 640, we're going to play Pride of Minnesota Hilo, which means even if you're a loser, you're a winner. Um, then we're going to play Lucky Sevens. This one is only a $5 buy-in and 30 winners, so that is a winning game. At 710, we're going to do fan favorite fishing derby. $20 buy-in, 25 winners, and an over $7,000 largemouth jackpot. Um, totally worth the 20 bucks. That's a really fun game. And then, like we said, we're going to do at 730 a round of Jackpot Hunter. After that, we're going to do our newest game open season. Only a $10 buy-in, 25 winners, and tons of fun. Um, we do have a sharpshooter leaderboard if you want to check out the commercials when we're on break. Um, you can see who in the state was the best hunter in open season. Finally, last game of the night at 8.05 p.m., the 54-ball jackpot jungle coverall. Um, that one hit for over $40,000 a couple weeks ago. And now the jackpot's rebuilding. It's going to be near $6,000 tonight. Uh, four cards for 20 bucks. And a ton of fun. That so, is... Bingo Palooza. Lots of games. So many games. 11 rounds of Vikings victory. 13 rounds of Jackpot Jungle. However many rounds during Megasota game night. It's a lot of bingo. It's a Tuesday. That <sighs> minor won't tick up this round. 150 players out there. And it won't tick up next round either. So that minor will tick up during Megasota game night to 56 balls if it's not won within these two rounds. That is the largest the major jackpot has ever been. We got Sarah and Sarah out there at <laughs> Bridge Tavern and VFW Blaine. Two different Sarahs. Spelled differently, too. We got Spin Dog and Don M out there. Moose, Kayla, Kiki, T, Bryzo, Yags, we 70 Guess love what? you. $26,023 and... Uh, Gotta carry the shoot. one. Twenty-six thousand twenty-four dollars and five cents. <laughs> that is the prize. If you win the major jackpot, that's how much you win. And if, what if they win the mega? A uh, hundred thousand, a hundred twenty-six thousand twenty-three twenty-four dollars and twenty-five cents. A lot of money. Quick math. Quick. Added a hundred thousand. That's pretty hard. <laughs> We got Tony out there at Suds Tavern, Mrs. T at St. Cloud Eagles, Terry M at VFW Brooklyn Park. Beat ya at 3D Sports Bar. Sarah Honey playing from VFW Austin. We gotta say all the names. I'm Janet, trying to say as many as I can. Spin Dog, I like that name. Uh, Taj over at Sunset Crow. Welcome back, Taj. And Marco at G. Allen's. We got LRCP out there. We yeah. are in line to hit the jackpot. Five chances left. Two yeah. chances left. No one moved up. Yeah. G no R one that moved up. K out there at Municipal Liquor Store, Ackley. Oh, ball 54, minor jackpot. No. No jackpot. 
There's one game left after this one. Curtis and I are infamous for the last game win. Got bad flop Bob out there. $161 going to Sarah. Sarah with lots of A's. At VFW Blaine. Congratulations, Sarah, on that $161 must-go prize. I like when we make a scene about someone's name and then they win. It makes yeah. me feel like we're doing something. I mean, I take full credit for it. All right. Last in rolling screen. Um, <clears throat> there was a lot we didn't go over. By the way, um, Vikings Bingo, or not Vikings Bingo, Game Day Bingo, it is a bye week for um, the Minnesota Vikings. So no Vikings game on Sunday, but Pilot Games, we're going to keep the Game Day Bingo this Sunday, even though there's no Vikings game. So we're going to play some Vikings Bingo. We're going to play some Top 10. We're going to play another tournament game, and then we're going to play some more Vikings Bingo. And there won't be a break between them. So we're just going to have a Sunday Bingo Palooza. Yeah, a Bingo Day Sun. A bingo Sunday. I'm trying to think of a catchy name a catch for phrase. us. Bye week bingo. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, that's pretty good. Bye week bingo. That's pretty good. Thanks. All right, so make sure you're there for that. Vikings bingo cards are only 25 cents. If you're interested in that, we have lunch hour from noon to one every day. Just kidding. Monday through Friday and Sunday. No games on Saturday. Yeah. E-tabs are always available, though. That miner has passed the $3,000 mark, but it won't tick up till next round, which will be which during will be Mega Minnesota. Soda Game Night. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's either going to happen right now or it's going to happen at Mega Soda. And now or never. Curtis and I, jackpots happen on the last game for us. But it is not a Friday. Yeah. So no promises. It's worth it to get your cards and at least try for over $26,000. The biggest jackpot hunter jackpot so far until the $100,000 one hits. Um, one minute left. And real quick, let's take a look at our charity spotlight. Um, we have the St. Cloud Youth Hockey Team. St. Cloud Youth Hockey Association will strive towards providing all members with a positive growing environment, which enhances a competitive spirit, defining sportsmanship and respect for others through the sport of hockey. If you're playing at MT's on 8th in St. Cloud, Howie's Sports Bar in St. Cloud, or HR Pesties, you are helping to support the St. Cloud Youth Hockey Association, which yeah. fits perfectly with National Youth Confidence Day. So, shout out to those guys. I, I was going to say something else, but what? I forgot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, hockey is a big sport in the north. Minnesota, big sport. It is my, uh, it is the least known sport I know about. Mr. Yags, I heard this on the lunch, I almost had podcast, the lunch show. Uh, Mr. Yags used to coach hockey, and he coached a famous hockey player. I'm not sure who it was. But, yeah, John and Ian said that. So, that's cool. $195 is that must-go prize for this round. Everyone buying their cards. They, it's not the last round, guys. You still got one more during Mega Soda Game Night tonight. Yep. We got trivia starting at 615 and tournament game started at 640. So, we are not at all done with Bingo Palooza Tuesday. Um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, love you from shortstop Fridley, 20 balls away. I also saw the name Happy Bee out there, and I was like, that's so cute. <laughs> we need to put a little bee emoji next to their name. Yeah. Jody RN at Cabin Bar. And Blondie out there, Ackley Gals, Ham at Worksies. Sherwood Lounge. Shout out to Worksies, um, number three in PGL standings. And... Yeah, they play a lot of PGL night, so thanks for joining us for Happy Hour Bingo. Got Love You at Shortstop Fredly hogging the leaderboard. We are so far off this jack. Board, I think this is <laughs> no misleading. One moved this up. is very misleading. Something's right now. happening right now. 14, 13 balls away, though? I don't think oh, that's no. correct. I'm ready to push the bingo button right now. That's how little faith Only I have. Only one person is moving up, and it's Love You. Okay. Got Chrissy's boss out there at Neighbors. Chrissy Root. Oh, uh, Chrissy boss. One chance left for the major. Oh, it's going to. Oh! Bingo! 
That was misleading. Yeah, we got Mandy at Allen's yes. Easton winning. Curtis, sorry. Mandy at Allen's Easton winning <laughs> over $26,000. The biggest, oh, sorry, jackpot, 100 jackpot yet. Um, Curtis, it was the last game. Yes. Another one. The last game luck stands true. 27000 How are right? No, $26,000 to you, Mandy. And some change. 26200 dollars Yeah, so congratulations to you, Mandy. $500. That is it for us. You guys can stay around for Mega Soda Game Night. It's going to be a ton of fun. More open season, more fishing derby. Yep. And even though this jackpot just got won, um, there is a chance of hitting the Mega. It's at 45 balls. It is possible. Difficult, but possible. Um, yeah. That's it for All us. Right. Stick uh, around for Mega Soda. 6.15 is trivia. 6.40 are the tournament games. And, and that's it. Remember, when you play pilot games, your community wins. Bye. Bye.